Is there a problem? This is a work matter. Nicole? We're fine. You're glad Louise Gunnell died? No, I... This has nothing to do with you or your case, so... Unless you're here on official police business. I'm just asking a question. And we answered it. All right. You two have a good night. Just leave it, Drew. Oh. I don't want any part of this. Do you know you're going to tell me what just happened? I guess Nick had to crack sometime. All that stress. She's not the only one. She actually said she's glad. Can we just not, please? She never should have set foot in that OR. Yeah, well, she did, OK? She messed up, it got ugly, and uh, I, for one, am sick of talking about it. Phil, how's Sky? She's looking good. I'm happy with her progress. So we can take her home? You think she's ready? She was a bit tachypneic in the night. I'm satisfied with her recovery. Well, I would like to wait for Naz's opinion. He'll tell you the best thing for Sky right now is to be in her home environment. Uh, well, if she develops a post-op infection, I would like her to be somewhere where she can be treated immediately. Phil says she's fine. Well, Phil is not a paediatric specialist, and after Nick lost focus in surgery, I would like a second opinion. Sky is safe. I wouldn't let her out of this place if I wasn't certain. <sighs> I'll get the discharge papers. <sighs> Miles and Billy will be up by now. All right, well, you better get her home then. I've got a meeting in an hour. Why don't you take them? Really? Relieve the sitter, make them breakfast, let them know nothing terrible's happened. Thank you. Well, one of us has to stay with her anyway, and Ali and Billy need to know we're still a family. serious about reporting to Vicky. I know you are, but no. He was in there like a shark smelling blood. I feel stronger today, okay? Okay, well you could take a couple more days off. In a staffing crisis, hello. That's not the point, Nick. You gotta look after yourself before you can look after others. What's happened? Um, it is nothing to worry about, okay? I just, um, I had a bit of a meltdown at work last night. Oh no. No, it, it's, it's fine. It all just got a bit too much for me. Yeah, and I don't know. I said some things that I shouldn't have said. I'm fine. I'm fine today. Okay, I just... Yeah. Come on, buddy. Yep, it's PTSD, Nick. And they can hate you weeks or months later without any warning. Honey, how have you been feeling? Not great, but okay. Well, unfortunately, Detective Tavuki witnessed me losing it. The last thing I need is to add more fuel to that fire. What did he say? Mm, not much. Just be aware of it, okay? It feels a bit like he's stalking us. Which is exactly what I am talking about. Nick, it's intrusive and totally unnecessary, and that is why we should report it. Where's my bug? It's right here, honey. Just grab your lunch, yeah? I said no. That'll only blow it. The idiot. Ouch. Oh, sorry, it's my useless... Landlord and his mate, the plumber. How did it? Excuse me. What started off as a small leak is now a burst pipe, and guess whose room was flooded last night? We'll get you stuffing it out of there. I moved everything into the living room, but it's chaos, and now my landlord is ignoring me. Oh, that's no good. I should just give him my notice and find him somewhere else. We'll do that, and then come stay with us. Uh, that's okay. You don't want to live in a swamp. I, I'll get lucky finding somewhere else. Yeah, well, you're staying with us at our nice dry apartment. Are you sure? I mean, we haven't exactly been seeing eye to eye lately. Good reason for us to spend time together. So come on, please. Help with any furniture after my shift? No heavy lifting, remember? Besides, just a couple of bags, if they survived. Minimalist, huh? I got rid of most of my stuff when I moved to Chicago. I guess I just never really invested on being back here. Well, if anything's ruined, it's a pretty good excuse for a fresh start. I am not sure how many fresh starts I have left in me. Are you sure this is okay? I know me and Esther sometimes. Rub each other the wrong way? I think this is her way of making up for that. I hate fighting with her. Well, that's what Fano do, right? They fight and they make up. All right, car key, front door, patio. 
I gotta get going. You okay with these? Yeah, get out of here. Good luck. Yeah. Yeah. Hello? Ty! Are you okay? Just hoping I can borrow some boxes. Okay, I think we can squeeze in Mrs. Chang's hip replacement, but we'd have to bump Mr. Hitchings again. No, I'll take Mrs. Chang. No good, you're out of here in three. You need to go home. Be with your kids. We had a scare last night, but we're okay. Look, you can yawn your way through your gastric sleeve and hernia repair, or you could let us handle them and you can get out of here. Yeah. One time off it. Use it or lose it. What's more about getting home sometime? You can't join in. We're separated. So yesterday was... Maybe don't comment on things you don't understand. Yeah, fair enough. Things are broken because of you. Sorry. You saved our baby girl. You get some credit for that. God, look at Sky. You'd never guess she was in surgery 10 hours ago. That's the thing about family. No matter what you do or how broken it may seem, you never stop being one, do you?